Welcome guys to the channel. We are here once again at a camera store in Finland with Andy, which um, I would say co-shares the top part of camera store business. Yeah. Um, Andy is the one that you will talk if you're buying or selling gear or have any issues with him. And today we're going to be talking about the, um, let's say the quality conditions or rating system they use why their gear um, is, you know, starred the way it is, why it's fixed and what would go into fixing thing, fully refurbishing it. And we have a few examples on the table. So, Antti, um, you want to tell me what are the three things you usually consider when rating? So, basically, we have those uh, three different ratings. There's a optical condition. It's only for the lenses. And then mechanical one for all the stuff and then cosmetical uh, condition, like for all stuff also. So yeah, when we were talking just a second ago, when you're talking about optical condition, it means that it will affect the image. Yeah. So for example, if a lens has uh, scratches or specks or uh, fog haze. or haze, or yeah, haze is more the word. Um, all these things would be optical condition. And then inside the optical, there's different grading, no? Yeah. So you have a five star five point. Yeah. Five steps, five stars. Okay. Five steps, five stars. Yeah. Okay. That sounds reasonable. So then you have, as you said, the, uh, mechanical condition, yeah. which would be, is the item working as it should from almost factory spec? Uh, if there's any, you know, if you're talking about a lens, maybe the lens is a little stiff at some point, if it's hard to turn or if it feels like it's jumpy or if it's smooth all the way yeah um that would be a mechanical condition for a lens for a body would be that every function works like it should shutter speeds mm -hmm. dials like buttons yeah. yeah like mechanical condition okay okay and then you go to the last one which is probably the least important for a final real user yeah. but maybe for a collector would be important which is the cosmetical yeah. uh, condition and for cosmetics, uh, you were telling me just before when we were grabbing the few items on the table that you rather be conservative and rate it a little lower yes. for those people that um, are actually maybe, um, how do you say, collectors, or that maybe just buy something and you rather make them happy when they receive it. True, that's and true. And for this, I, I was actually holding, I picked up this one. It's an XRRF. It's probably one of my favorite LED cameras even though i haven't used it yet but hopefully one day i'll get one and this one well i'll show in b-roll but this one looks absolutely almost new like there's no marks from the rings from the strap uh but there is a very tiny blemish on yeah. the bottom yeah and scratches so, and a few little tiny scratches but i mean it looks like it just was used for like a week yeah it's fully usable but for that reason that there's a couple of marks, mm -hmm. we will give it only three stars. Okay, so three stars would be something looking very good, but very tiny specs. Yeah. And um, for those that might find something a little heavy used, uh, this is a 70 to 200 Canon zoom. And this looks like a professional used lens. Yeah. You can see on the bayonet mount and the ring uh, for the tripod, it's heavily used, probably being in the bag in and out a lot. So this, well, how would you rate this in uh, optical, I mean, cosmetic uh, condition? Cosmetical condition is about one to two stars. It's depending on the, like the, if the uh, hood is broken or there's like a missing like a bump. parts or bumps or dents, then it's one. But mm -hmm. I think this is still fully usable and not that bad. Uh -huh. And one of the things that they do here at Camera Store is they have the uh, camera rescue and the camera makers um upstairs yeah who not only check optical but they fully refurbish this so yeah. if this came in from a professional with a little wiggle room yeah. and having some faults at out of focus or anything like that uh mika yeah. is in charge of doing this and he used to work for canon and nikon i think yeah. the service yeah. so this is fully professional serviced uh at least checked if, checked if, if it needed. needs it yeah. of course but at least almost every time uh, at least the rubber seal needs to be replaced. Oh, okay. I didn't even know they yeah. had rubber seals. I'm not a, a <laughs> Canon autofocus yeah. uh, user. But yeah, so so for those people that might be seeing this on the website and all the pictures of your items on the website, which I think is very important, we were talking about that with uh, Yuho yesterday, are all the real items. Because True. a lot of secondhand stores don't post the real 
images. Like they will post a generic picture of a 70 to 200 or a XR, and then it might not be. Yeah. So anyone that's trying to buy from you guys has to know that this is actually the item they're getting. You can see the actual, you know, uh, yeah, cosmetic and, condition and all of that. And we will always take uh, one picture of the ser serial number, so you will, you can take a look of later when you receive the lens yeah. or any product. That Yesterday I was with UC, who's uh, also on the top of a camera store, but he also finds a very therapeutic to package everything. Yeah. And I was with UC going through uh, an order. He would get an order. He would look at the item. He would look at the serial number. And with that, he would go either around these shelves to pick up yeah, the yeah, item fine. and then put it into the bag and label it. So it's very much a good reason to have the serial number in the yeah. picture, not only for the client to make sure, but for you guys to package and get it ready. So yeah, that would be uh, something that's been well used or well loved, but still fully usable yeah, mechanically. True. Yeah. And um, so you have those three are the main things though, optical condition, mechanical condition, and cosmetic conditions. And then you have the five different stars. Yeah. So how would you actually rate something five stars you have fully uh, new or uh, yeah, it's totally unused or fully refurbished mm -hmm. so basically we never give five stars for any products even we have like totally refurbished uh Lakers, there's some sports that are not anymore available so we can replace them mm -hmm. so it's not totally refurbished, mm -hmm. so we can give only four stars. Yeah, that's another example that I talked about. Yeah, that's the Lake M3 that actually was listed yesterday, I think. Yeah, might be. One of the examples that I think is interesting is you found or rescued three uh, Yashikas GSN, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. And they were brand new in box, so new old stock. Yeah. But instead of giving it five stars, because it's been new, yeah. it's been 30 years since they were made, so you consider them four stars, yeah. which would be, yes, it's new and unused. It's been checked by the technicians. And the light seals were replaced. The light seals were replaced, but still it's a 30 year product. We can't say it's out of the factory today. True. So it wouldn't be a five star. So you basically rarely, very rarely give a five star. Yeah, that's true. That's okay. True. So then you have the four star, which is uh, excellent condition, yeah. which is mostly that refurbished yeah. almost to final spec or final spec, but maybe not all parts are new. Yeah. It's basically as good as use it can be. And uh, it's f like no any faults, you can use it in any situation. Mm -hmm. All the shutter speeds are top notch and that kind of things. Okay, so basically it's, it's fully working condition, yeah. no haze, no mold, no big bumps, anything like that. It's pretty pristine I would yeah, say yeah. that's almost like the top of the of, yeah, your, of yeah. your thing because of your rating is five stars is very 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 yeah, rare we can almost remove the five stars and give only <laughs> the four <laughs> stars but then five stars would feel like you know people would be missing like four stars doesn't sound like a yeah, lot yeah yeah true okay and then you have the three which is the user condition yeah which this is I guess the gear that is well loved uh, but does have some tiny very little tiny things that are not major yeah Almost all the products, like cosmetic condition is almost every time three stars, mm -hmm. rarely four. And like it's fully usable still and great for users, not for collectors. Yeah, so, like for example, yeah. I picked up this, which is one of my favorite cameras. This is a Nikon F5. It was a work horse for film times when photo, um, you know, reporters were shooting rolls every three seconds <laughs> and um, this camera looks great condition I mean to be a professional camera it looks like the professional didn't really have a lot of work yep. or maybe which jumped onto digital but it has a few blemishes on the bottom which is just from putting on a table so this would probably be a user condition, yeah, user condition. at least in optical in optical I mean uh, cosmetic condition sorry and then maybe working it's in perfect condition yeah or maybe not five star, but four star. Four stars, four stars is good for this one. But if there's like a, any any problems, then it's automatically three stars. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have those stars. Then we have a small description where we like say if there's any problems or something. Yeah, to everyone that's wondering, even though we are in Finland, all your staff speaks fluent English. 
or pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you guys don't say you do, but you do. Compared to other countries that don't speak more than one language, it's actually very good. And uh, you have the description in English. If you have any issues or questions, they can write uh, the customer service, yeah, which course. is you and Yushi. And they will tell you if ever, something's wrong, if you have a question on a specific item, maybe. But the only thing that I think happens is there's a lot of rotation. So maybe you're asking about this camera, but this will sell, and then there's another one. Yeah. So maybe you're getting the other one, and uh, you probably tell them, like, the item number XX was sold. This is what we have. Yeah. Okay, so that would be the user condition. Uh, then you have poor condition, which means that it works, but something's not so good. Yeah, optically there might be a bit haze or dust, uh, big dust particles inside. Mechanically, there's some problems like slow speeds, but I can't remember when I have used one second speed like on any camera. So you can still use them, but they're not like fully usable. So. Mm -hmm. So something might be something small might be wrong. Yeah, like the slow slow speeds or a bit of dust, more dust than more the, dust and and even some scratches on the rear uh, element, but not not big ones. Mm -hmm. Like three stars, you may have a small coating marks on the front element, but not on the rear. But if there's any on the rear element, then it's automatically two mm -hmm. stars. And then you have the last one, which is basically faulty, fully broken. Yeah. But you barely list things in this. No, no, we use them for spares. Like yeah, we... they have a spare room, which I guess they're donors. They're bodies yeah. that don't work. Cameras that are missing parts, lenses that are scratched or fun full of fungus, but yeah. maybe the housing is good. Yeah. So you use these for, for the fixing the other cameras or, yes. you know, making two out of, I mean, making one out of two. And then we, some, some uh, examples we sell as fully broken or folded for collectors. They're not like... Worth fixing. Yeah, for fixing or there's no film mm -hmm. available. Yeah, strange formats yeah. or maybe old back, like, like um, bagelita. I don't know how you say that in English. Yeah. Like the old bagelita yeah. cameras, like the brownies and some of those that maybe no one wants to really fix them because it takes a lot of work and maybe not. And some collectors are like... Women buy them for uh, decoration use. Mm -hmm. so. so maybe it's something like that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, one of the things that I think is also important is uh, when you're buying from you guys, is the shipping, how does it work? The returning, which is always a big problem for yeah. a lot of people, like they get scared. One of the things that I see a lot um, of people nowadays not trusting is eBay, because um, as much as eBay is something you could to compare prices because you might be like, oh, well, they're selling an M3 for a thousand euros, but I see one on eBay for 700, which is probably rare to see, but a big difference like that is you guys are behind the gear. Yeah. Everything's being checked. Yeah. Even if it needs to be fixed, it's fixed. Yeah. Uh, checked at least three times. Yeah. And then if something's wrong, you are stand behind your sales. So of course. F you can fully return it. There's a, I think 15 day fully return, no questions uh, asked. Uh, 14 or? days. 14 uh, days, two but, weeks. Yeah, two weeks, but with the film cameras always, you can shoot the first roll, develop it. It's not that like... Yeah, you're not that Yeah. <laughs> close-minded. Like, yeah. no, no, you used yeah. it for three weeks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you can return something if it's not like you like it um, optically or cosmetically or maybe something's wrong that was enlisted, even though it's very strange. You told me you had, what was your percentage of uh, problems per sales? I think it was a very, very low. Under one. Under 1%. Yeah. yeah. So of 100 items, less than one comes back like I didn't like it or... Uh, uh, that's a bit different uh, for it's under one person, like broken, products, or broken ones or some, some problems, but... People have an option to return it for no yeah, reason. Yeah, for no so, reason. Yeah. But. So you maybe you buy something. I buy a, a an F5 and I get it and I'm like, oh, oh I didn't realize big. this is really big. Yeah. I'm gonna return it. Yeah. So return is fine in those conditions that you don't have to really say why. Just return yeah. it, and you guys will take it back. So that's great. And based in Finland, I'm based in Spain, and I bought from you guys, and it's been uh, with mixed results, but usually around less than a week maybe one, two days shipping. Yeah. If it's uh, the DHL option, which is very affordable, it's 10 euros. And then if something happens during transport, same thing, yeah. easy to yeah. return. And um, yeah, that's a great option to know that there's someone behind because I we've seen, and I've seen it on eBay, 
a lot of people that either when you're a seller on eBay, the the, the buyer can really screw you over yeah. saying, ah, oh, I got a brick instead of a Nikon F5 and eBay will always protect the buyer. But you guys, of course, have pictures, have proof. Um, yesterday we were talking about digital cameras, how Mika uses and tests the cameras. So if it's a digital body and someone had claimed, for example, that the pin on the CF card was broken, Mika had proof yeah. of like, we use the camera, here are the images. This was broken probably by a user and he had actually put the CF card the other way around. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a good thing that you guys stand behind, keep images and all the items they sell are not put down on the website. They're just marked sold. So even if you buy something and you're fighting anti or uzi <laughs> about condition, the, the images are still online. Yeah. You can still search your item. It's trackable and all this. So it's pretty good, I have to say, as a buyer. It gives you a lot of confidence. Good. And uh, knowing that you guys check everything is also very, con like, you know, makes you safe to feel like that. But yeah, so um, anything else, anti, that you think people would want to know in terms of buying. Mm. Also, you can, instead of buy, you can trade. Which yeah, is... of course you can trade. You can send me a trade offers if you have anything in mind. And we also buy stuff. So if you like to sell to us, I'm open to get emails from you. Yeah, Antti answers pretty fast. I've offered him <laughs> gear from either me or people in Spain. And usually it's a day because you guys work here nonstop. Yeah. And uh, the prices that you guys buy are also fairly, you know, reasonable. You're not going for the lowest, lowest, yeah, lowest pricing. So. <laughs> so you're giving like a fair, considering that you have to check them. If there's any repairs, you have to repair them. And yesterday we are actually talking about the things to look at when you were buying yourself and how sellers should actually maybe sh see a bit more what the condition rating. And this is why we also agreed to make this video is trying to show what we consider or you consider a uh, five star or four star. And, and so people, when they're selling, they always say it's super mint. Yeah. And then when you receive it, it might be some mold. There's a, might be some uh, rust or something's wrong. So that's good also that people can see the rating system and how you work. Yeah. So yeah, guys, if you have any questions, um, you can leave it in the comments below. Thank you, Auntie, for having time um, for me to make all these questions and showing all this gear. And if anyone has questions for Anti, you can contact them through camerastore.com. And if not, you can contact me on the YouTube uh, comment section. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you in the next one.